Hello friends, in today's video we will be making this particular piece of landscape and uh, this is a monsoon landscapes with a lot of uh, rainy clouds. So the reference of this is taken from painting references Facebook page. Now let's begin with the drawing. Okay, Here I make a loose drawing and there is nothing much to draw in fact it is just a separation of sky and uh, in the land and a couple of uh, puddles of water uh, the video is in real time so I haven't sped it up and uh, the paper I am using is Indian handmade paper brand Chitrapat and it is 440 GSM paper rough texture rough texture is a bit important for here as you will see later uh, in the foregrounds I will be using a lot of uh, the benefits of uh, rough texture paper uh, I think that is it uh, for this uh, drawing as uh, some small trees and some uh, distant steps these are all very suggestive uh, drawing and uh, the drawing is very loose and very light because I don't do it very darker and my objective is to first apply a coat of uh, uh, dull wash maybe a little warmer wash throughout the paper so that it will act as a base coat for the clouds and as well as the land right so I'm mixing a little bit of uh, uh, brownish uh, uh, muddy color and uh, around the horizon I will keep keep it little bit warm but as I go away I might move it to cooler shades right the paper is kept at a at an angle so the top edge of the paper is kept at a height maybe around 30 degree tilted is the paper and uh, I'm trying to first apply the wash for the sky area and as I move up I wanted to make it little darker and cooler okay and that will help us in getting little bit more depth the paper wasn't initially wet it is a, it was a dry paper now I am making a wet coating so that from this point onwards uh, I can apply wet on wet techniques for the sky on the sky part the initial coat is done I am making it slightly darker uh, uh, the land portion the color I am using in general is for the this wash is uh, a uh, li little bit of blue and uh, brown burnt umber and a touch of violet so I am using different proportion of that to get the the tone and the consistency I want okay. this this is the second layer wet on wet the paper is still wet and um, this is um, uh, maybe I am trying to define uh, volumes of uh, subtle clouds darker clouds I will define on top of this this is a larger volume of uh, subtle clouds with some kind of uh, opening leaving I mean opening around the horizon so, so that I, I wanted some some part of the sky is to be seen through better on better different colors some some slight variation of color so that you will find some play of uh, subtle clouds okay. the paper is still wet I'm using a flat brush for this but you could use um, any any brush okay don't go for very tiny brush with a, a couple of strands in it go for reasonably big brush Right. because wet on wet and these kind of clouds works well with uh, larger brushes in in, uh, in general whenever you do watercolors I would suggest you to take uh, the biggest brush possible to manage a particular element try to get used to big brushes so it is all wet on wet I am just tilting the paper to get some flow right now I wanted some darker clouds and I am using some uh, a mop brush 
and a darker tone of the same mix I mean blue violet and brown and uh, I'm using uh, uh, natural hair mop brush but the, it doesn't uh, I mean this pr brush is not it is not mandatory to have the same brush you can use any brush but I am just trying to lightly touch and suggest okay I'm not applying any pressure so that I don't want the underlying wash should get disturbed much that is wet some some brush works to suggest a lot of clouds because if you have seen in the beginning the the finished work had a lot of clouds and I wanted to have a lot of clouds in the reference also it was very much rainy scene so a lot of uh, clouds were there See, well, when you when you make clouds, you have to remember that uh, you cannot get the exact shape as in the reference because we are taking the benefit of wet on wet, and uh, I'm making some suggestion and letting it to letting it merge with the wet background. So it uh, you may not get exact shape as uh, you wanted, but the clouds will still look convincing. Um, I find some of the area where I'm touching now is little bit dry so I'm spraying with a sprayer bottle and just moving the paper up and down left and right so that some of the uh, flow of water and the colors will happen and it will get merged um, remember again that you will not you cannot control the actual behavior you are trying to get uh, best out of the natural flow of colors merging of colors etc now at the ground uh, if you remember there are a couple of water puddles and the puddles will reflect the the tones of sky so i want some similar tone for the land and i am using a wet on wet wash for the land also so um, just a, a graded wash again i am tilting the paper so that i don't get any hard edges and little bit of merging happens little bit of uh, gradation by keeping the paper upside down okay uh, i'm keeping it upside down so that the the flow of paint will happen uh, towards the horizon okay so once you're happy with the flow of paint okay um, you can keep it in normal position these are all common uh, in sense that uh, the water will flow uh, uh, vertically down so you can adjust the angle of paper um, to get what you want i think it is reasonably well and i have kept it for drying now i am doing this after the paper is fully dry you have to be careful about that if it, the paper is not fully dry you will not get this kind of um, uh, sharp contrast it will start merging so uh, here I am trying to define the uh, the horizon and uh, I am trying to softly apply the brush I am using natural hair mop brush um, I am not applying much of pressure and because of this uh, texture of the paper I will get lot of white uh, uh, white spots left out so that will create some interest in the painting okay, you will see when I come down further you will find that you will get a lot of white I mean sparkling effect because of the texture of the paper so the color I am using here is uh, olive green uh, burnt sienna and little bit of uh, blue see um, I think these are all I mean uh, some grassy piece of land but because of the uh, limited amount of light due to the clouds and rainy atmosphere you are not getting that sharp uh, greenish tone so you are getting a muted green uh, for the piece of land it is little bit thicker consistency and uh, I am applying the color little bit loosely so that I get some texture on the paper
uh, you might think uh, this is little bit slow because uh, see this, the painting is little simple okay so um, uh, most of the things are done by the the color itself wet on wet effect and uh, this is a kind of a dry brush talk that i am doing that means thicker consistency paint i am quickly applying it on the paper so that a lot of areas are covered by the paint and a lot of areas are left out with the underlying paper color okay so that should give an illusion of that being puddle of water okay it is not a very it is very shallow uh, puddle of water not very deep so some of the grasses will still be seen through so you uh, that is what you can you are seeing at the bottom while making the strokes constantly at the back of my hand uh, head i am worrying about the perspective of those uh, water puddles and the placement and perspective of the, those uh, water puddles formed so you have to be always a uh, little bit conscious about the overall perspective so i think some of the crops or something are seen through the water accumulation so these are some suggestions of some grass or crops seen through they are in a line maybe it was some field or something this again is a kind of a dry brush strokes same color see there is no much color here in in fact it is the same color but uh, the consistency is different when you make these kind of lines you have to be careful about the perspective so this will act as an element of interest plus it will help the viewers i taking the viewers eye to the horizon and uh, uh, creating more interest and depth for the painting so i'm softening some of the horizon that edge because i don't want uh, sharp contrast across the width of the paper at the horizon so around the middle i want the the, sh the sharpness or the contrast and uh, at the edges i want it Uh, some kind of uh, uh, softness at the horizon so i am using a little bit of uh, thicker color and a touch of white to to reduce the softness uh, reduce the contrast and uh, somehow creating an illusion that those uh, horizon is really quite far away yeah, i mean it is always a good idea to keep both uh, hard and soft edges Uh, in your work and uh, you can play with that wherever you want focus more attention you can keep the uh, sharpness and uh, wherever you want uh, lesser attention you can make it softer it and uh, you can probably merge it with the background now it is some touches here and there i i i think i am done mostly i need to maybe sign this one and maybe make some touches before doing that if you remember there was a distant tree around the horizon so i am just making suggesting basically i am not clearly defining it uh, this again is a kind of a dry brush work very little bit of a tiny suggestion for a big tree and some smaller trees see you have to be careful about the the perspective okay the sizes etc right i think that that gives a kind of a focus there okay and uh, some trees uh, at the horizon again on the right side i am trying to merge it with the background by smudging it with my finger don't hesitate don't be reluctant to touch your watercolor paints you can always play with play with it with your finger to smudge it out uh, to merge etc okay you can get very interesting effect uh, by the by manipulating it with your fingers finger nails etc 
right i think uh, i i i forgot to mention that uh, before the initial washes were dry after defining the clouds before it was dry i applied little i mean spray of water so that you get a texture on the clouds maybe you will see some white texture on the clouds that was a spraying of water i didn't mention it there but i'm just telling it now some suggestion because i wanted to define some reflection on the water puddle so that it will be a little bit more convincing <coughs> some tiny uh, suggestions maybe they are distant people or some uh, something See, when when you make these tiny things you don't have to clearly define it let the viewer think and uh, imagine what they are uh, just uh, some suggestions you make and the viewer will give some meaning to the, uh, those right i think i think i am pretty much uh, we are pretty much done now and uh, uh, see these whatever touches we are i am making now it is kind of uh, some i am following my impulses so your mind will say that okay let us try or do something here some touch here some touch there so just follow it i mean after all uh, you should listen to your heart and enjoy the process that is what is more important i think i'm signing it and finishing it uh, see otherwise you may not, you may not know when to stop even after signing you may have a tendency to touch here and there some colors some some uh, sharp colors i'm touching here and there just to get some kind of variety but you should not overdo it just some minor touches of yellows and reds etc uh, i think no, we should stop doing this and we can treat this as done so it didn't take much time we didn't do much in fact it was some wet on wet and then dry brush works so taking out the tape now no to get that magical moment of uh, sharp getting sharp edges and uh, you will find it more interesting once the tape is taken out i think this is reasonably done we have got a good amount of clouds and see the clouds are reading well and uh, clouds are dark and it looks like it is raining okay clouds darker and some perspective on the fields and uh, taking you to the horizon hope you liked it and uh, this is the final image after taking the photograph on uh, natural sunlight hope uh, you have enjoyed it you could learn something from it and if you have any questions please uh, uh, write it in the comments and uh, we'll see in the next video and bye until then happy painting